In this year's report, uh, we are presenting some figures that are positive uh, and some that are causes for concern. Uh, the recent improvement in the number of people who are patients who die by suicide across the UK uh, has been more or less maintained. Uh, the number for our most recent year of 2017 is 1,517. Uh, so that's uh, historically uh, a relatively low figure, uh, but of course it's no reason for us to be satisfied. Uh, there has been a fall in the number of inpatient suicides, uh, and there's been a particular focus on inpatient care. Uh, inpatient suicides are not one thing. Some people die on the ward, and for them the physical safety of the environment is crucial. Uh, others uh, die during the period of discharge planning, uh, towards the end of an admission, and for them it's about uh, care plans uh, and about risk assessment. The acute period, inpatient care and just after leaving hospital, uh, remains a priority for suicide prevention for mental health care. Uh, we found a small reduction in the number of people who die after leaving hospital, but it is still the highest risk time. And the highest risk day is day three after leaving hospital, suggesting the need for immediate follow-up within two to three days uh, of leaving the ward. Uh, one area of uh, clinical care that we need to uh, improve uh, is the support that we offer to people who have a combination of mental illness and either drug or alcohol misuse. Uh, those people account for about half of all patients who die by suicide under mental health care across the UK. Uh, very frequently they are not under uh, specialist services. And what we offer in mental health care uh, has to become uh, more focused. Uh, more skills in our frontline staff who are able to uh, offer substance misuse support, access to specialist expertise within a trust, uh, and good close working uh, with drug and alcohol teams uh, across the area.